My name is Shlay Smith. I'm from Woolsey, South Dakota, and my title is Miss Teen South Dakota International 2022. With my platform of empowering ourselves to empower others, I feel it's important that we break that negative stigma around mental health and make it way less taboo than it is. It's being the numbers rising and the pandemic ending, we need to know what happened and we need to open the eyes to everyone. And as we pass our knowledge on to future generations, we need to know that it's okay not to be okay. And it's definitely okay to be yourself. My platform is important to me because as a kid, I myself struggled. I felt completely alone. I moved schools. I completely self-isolated myself. And I knew how it felt. And I wasn't the normal teenager. And through that, I developed this platform. And I learned what to do when I felt that way. And I now want to teach others to do the same. You know a person. You may think, oh, I don't, I don't know them. They're not my best friend. They don't have to be your best friend for you to be able to pinpoint somebody that's maybe not acting the same. Maybe they're more negative lately. Maybe they're just more irritable. They get really frustrated on little things. They maybe have taken a downfall in their character, or their sports, or their school, their work. You can pinpoint things like that. We've been able to adapt and kind of figure out who a person is, even if it's just knowing them a little bit or knowing them as your best friend. You can pinpoint who their character is and how they act and you can see their change. One of my pillars is uh, getting out. Um, that could be by yourself, with your family, with your friends, anywhere. My number one thing is definitely hunting. Not only is it a thing in South Dakota that is huge and kind of gets a family competitive, but it's also a way to relax. I'm big into bow hunting, so that definitely takes a lot of patience. That's taught me more than I could ever explain. Sitting in that tree stand, finally seeing the buck, pulling back, taking that deep breath, and letting it all go. That's taught me to slow down, look at the world a different way, 